we'll start to analyze the Lancaster model with no reinforcement. If you remember from the previous video, that's this system of differential equations where R and B are the sizes of two armies engaged in combat with each other, and lowercase r and lowercase b represent the effectiveness of the soldiers in red army and blue army, respectively. This is linear and homogeneous. We can rewrite it as so. And the origin is a fixed fixed point, if R and B are both zero, this turns to zero and this turns to zero, capital R and capital B, I should say. And we can analyze the fixed point using that matrix. We'll find the eigenvalues in particular. We'll subtract the lambda i and we'll take the determinant and we get lambda squared minus rb. And to find the eigenvalues, we set that equal to zero. Lambda squared equals RB. Lambda equals plus or minus the square root of RB. So two real eigenvalues, one positive, the other negative. The origin is a saddle. And as such, it is unstable, which seems right. I mean, you don't often hear about two armies engaged in traditional conflict mutually annihilating each other. It would be quite an unusual thing if both R of T and B of T ended up being zero. What are the eigenvectors? Now your calculator won't be able to deal with these constants, lowercase r and lowercase b. I'll just give the eigenvectors to you therefore. And let's see what we can see just from this. Neither B nor R could be called dependent or independent, but the way I have this set up, the first entry in the vector is R, the second is B, so I set up the Cartesian plane like this. This vector this is positive and this is positive. So this is some point 
t here and the vector then looks like this. This is negative, this is positive. The point is here and then the vector is going in this direction. Let's see, this corresponds to a negative eigenvalue. So the arrow goes towards the origin. This corresponds to a positive eigenvalue. The arrow goes away from the origin. Only the first quadrant has any meaning here. You cannot have a negative number of combatants. So what happens? Well, we have trajectories that look like that, and trajectories that look like that. Depending on which side of this eigenvector we start on. If we start down here, our trajectories go like this. If we start up here, our trajectories go like that. But as I said, what's happening in this quadrant and down here has no meaning. B and R has to have to be positive. So what happens if we start here, for example? Well, we come down, we hit this axis, and B is a zero here, and R is positive. So blue army has been wiped out. Red army still has a positive number of soldiers. If we start up here, we follow the trajectory to the axis. Now R was zero. So red army has been wiped out. B is positive. Blue army still has some number of soldiers remaining. So either red army or blue army should be wiped out. In the next video, we'll discuss this further using the same implicit, dif not implicit, using the same parametric differentiation trick that we used when we were studying the SIR model.